don't even know what to say. That's not true. I say it out of frustration. I know what to say. I'm just passing through. People like people that are passing through, don't they? Actually, I don't know if they do or not. Maybe they're interested in it because they want to know why they're passing through and not staying. Just passing through on my way to death. Doing what I can. Which is a lot of stuff. I want the world... No, no. The world will be united. There will be one government. There will be one religion that says that there is no religion. Really, you can't do anything about anything unless you build something or talk to a bunch of people. And with internet video, I'm doing both. Well, we're doing both. That was what I was going to say. Building and speaking. We're building something, art. This is creativity. This is art. This is a creation of art, making a video. If you're making a video, you are an artist. And speaking... That's what's happening right now. I'm speaking. I'm so nervous. I'm so on edge. I've been on edge. I saw Amanda the other night while we were out. On Saturday night. And Max was with me. And as Amanda walked by, I said hello when I first got to the place to Jamie and Amanda. And I think just the two of them. It was Jamie's birthday. They were sitting there and she was a little distracted. Looked away. Like avoided con eye contact. And when she was walking by at one point, Max said, how, how did you date this guy? Come on, seriously. I mean, like he was getting all pretentious and asked her how she would date me for eight and a half years. And she said, I don't know. And it was very cold. And I said, hey, I don't know why I responded like that. Hey, later on, I was thinking, why, why didn't I, why didn't I say something more like, geez. But you know, in the moment when you get slapped emotionally across the face by someone, you just react. I don't like that I emotionally re reacted to her. I don't... I, I want to have a conversation with Amanda. <sighs> a conversation. And no sex. Just a conversation. I can't... I can't... <laughs> focus on any any one person. I don't think. I mean, we can, but not, we're not really doing that. We're focusing on ourselves with another person's image. Dude, I've been going crazy on Rebecca. On you, Rebecca, if you're watching this, which I see you, you watched the last one. Uh, she's been really busy with... she got a show opening on Friday. I haven't, I haven't seen her much. I don't know. I Actually, I have seen her a lot, but I just want more, like, I, I've gone so crazy, this being with Amanda for so long, I've really given over to, like, wanting more, just wanting more all the time, more of it, I want to be around everyone all the time, it's so extreme, I just, if I hang out with someone, I have a good time, then I, I want to hang out with them again, and, uh, so I've been, I've been really like, this has been a painful learning process for me. And Max came into town, he's staying here for a while, and it's been a painful learning process of like, Amanda's not around, and I'm not dating anyone, and I'm, I've been talking to Rebecca a lot. I don't know if I should say I've been talking to Rebecca a lot, oh, yeah, to Max, and I'm talking about the people. And Max is here, so I've been kind of faced with myself and my past. He remembers everything. That's a very extreme thing, but he remembers more than anyone I've ever met in my life. Um, so I was like, all these new things in my life, I've just, whew, God. 
and David and Dominic and Ryan are here, living here, and that's been new. To be on the outside of watching three brothers interact, which is very interesting. Because I am one of three brothers. And I've noticed watching them and watching the hierarchy play out of oldest and youngest and middle, seeing how, how much it really plays in and calling it out, like saying it if I see it. And then they, we, we, talk, we all talk about it. And now I'm finding it helps me so much with my relationships with my brothers, particularly with Max and Michael. I haven't talked to you much I, recently. I, I barely saw Michael when I went back to Ohio, like three days, although the time we did hang out was really cool. I don't know. I don't really. I'm not trying to pack it in with any one person. It's all. I'm gonna be there. What is marriage? What is getting with one person, and being married to them, or being like. In a relationship, does that mean you just all that means is that you see them a lot more? That you just are are around them every day, like you owe them something. I don't. Want, I don't owe anybody anything. I don't want to owe anybody anything. Like the only reason I would say like I want to be in a I see I am in a relationship with Rebecca with with every person I know I'm in a relationship with them and it's like the sexual relationship and my body wants sexual relationship with everybody but to, to be to have a girlfriend I don't oh I don't know I do I think I don't know though man maybe I'm just trying to fill a void that was there you know Amanda's gone like, I saw Jill again on Saturday night. She came over with her friend, Alex. But I just, I wasn't feeling it, man. <sighs> feeling the void. I'm, I'm not trying to fill the void with people. With these people. What's this void? Where, what am I? You know, you, I, got, I get so used to having Amanda always there, just in case. Like, I'd always, no matter what I was doing, I could talk about it with someone, one, the same person, and then I would have sex with her. So there was no, there was no secrets, except for that I was lying to her. So there were secrets. But there didn't have to be. And I know that now. They're like, this is the great learning experience. And it was, I got so used to it, to having that, Connected con connection all the time, you know. I, if she called me, I would answer, and if I called her, she would answer, and it was it was trust. We really, I trusted her a lot, but I was still lying. How good could it be to compare anything to that? Maybe it was too much. Maybe we were too too into each other. We talked to each other too much. I just I love love just laying in bed with someone. For like eight hours on a Sunday. You, you don't have anything to do. And it's fucking raining outside. Or it's just maybe it's nice out. You have the windows open. But you just don't have anything to do. You just lay around and have sex and talk. And eat. And then talk. And put music on. And smoke weed. And dance. And have sex. And talk. And like that's all you do all day long. And you don't get anything accomplished. Like... Job-wise, I'm no further with my acting career, but it's that shit that m that gives me the opportunity, makes me want to do the other stuff. Like now, I felt fucking, I felt fucking empty. Ugh. I felt like I felt so empty. I haven't felt this a drive to do anything, even to fucking help the homeless. I've just been like so depressed. I, I've been speaking with the homeless people, homeless, it's so ridiculous, just the people, with every person, so much more. I've been speaking with the people more, the homeless people, any person, when I see them, but I haven't been proactively doing things, because I don't give a fuck, because I've been so depressed, because I, I haven't been communicating, I haven't been laying, I haven't been letting out my truest thoughts. And I don't know if that's something for the camera. Or if that's something for another person, or both. It's both. It's for everybody. My truest thoughts, they just come out. You don't think about them, they just come out. Oh. That's all. I'm leaving it at that. You don't think about it, they just come out. 
the truest thoughts just come out. If you fucking put yourself in the situation where they do, the journey continues on, my friends. Okay.